So what did Archbishop Vigano have to say? He calls this antichristic ideology, and he condemns Archbishop Vincenzo Paglia, who was appointed by Pope Francis for saying that Law 94, legalizing abortion, is a pillar of our social life. He goes on to say, Archbishop Vigano, the just indignation of the ecclesial body in response to the statements of the president of the academy founded by John Paul II, precisely in order to oppose abortion, is accompanied by the applause of the advocates of reproductive health and the interruption of pregnancy, who are always ready to accuse the church of interference when she speaks with the voice of Christ, but yet offer praise as soon as her worst exponents prostitute themselves to the aligned thought of the world and adopt the dishuman principles of neo-Malthusianism as their own. As shepherd and successor of the apostles, I am unable to not to condemn with the greatest force Archbishop Paglia's scandalous words which contradict the gospel and the teaching of the Roman pontiffs. End quote. He says, Vigano, quote, the New World Order, the United Nations, the WHO, the EU, the World Economic Forum, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderberg Club, and all the organizations which follow the Agenda 2030 consider the barbaric killing of innocent children in the mother's womb as a right and as a pillar of social life, to use the quote of Archbishop Paglia. It is, prob is emblematic and revealing that the sect of apostates who infest the Catholic hierarchy, and have occupied its highest levels, find themselves aligned with ideological positions of the enemies of Christ, not only on issues that are seemingly unconnected, like the psychopandemic narrative and green ideology, but also in the denial of the very foundations of natural law, including respect for life from conception to natural death. It's disconcerting that no one among my brethren in the episcopate and least of all among the members of the College of Cardinals dares to raise his voice to condemn Paglia's delusional words and call for his immediate resignation from the Pontifical Academy for Life. As a dad on a webcam, I want to join the voice of Archbishop Vigano. Yes, we are calling for the resignation of Archbishop Paglia from the Pontifical Academy for Life. Pope Francis, all cardinals of the Holy Roman Church, we call for the resignation of Archbishop Paglia, who says the abortion law is a pillar of social life. Archbishop Vigano concludes, may the faithful, admonished by good priests, move themselves far away from these wolves in sheep's clothing and pray to the Lord, asking him to intervene to save his church, occupied by a Sanhedrin. Woo! He said that? Occupied by a Sanhedrin of corrupted and perverted men who continue to crucify Jesus Christ in his mystical body. Signed, Carlo Maria Vigano, Archbishop. <laughs> the clarification made by the Vatican, by the pontifical camera of life was, the intention of the statement was not to make a value judgment about the law, but to state that it's practically impo impossible to abolish Law 194. Well, okay, I thought Italy was a historically Catholic nation. And I thought the Catholic Church had moral power, moral imperative over the faithful. So if you really wanted to try... You really wanted to pray and to fast. Look what happened over here in America with Roe v. Wade. And, and you're telling me from the Pontifical Academy for Life that it's practically impossible to abolish the abortion law. Are you men? I mean, do you guys have A, orthodox theology, orthodox morality, and do you even have a testosterone count? Because you sound weak. <laughs> 